Ann Arbor Pioneer Varsity Football was supposed to host Bedford tonight, but the game never happened. Pioneer forfeited after refusing to play in protest, alleging Bedford's players used racial slurs during yesterday's junior varsity game. Larry Spruill is live in Ann Arbor after having spoken to Pioneer's head coach tonight. Good evening, Larry. Good evening, Jason. We talked on the phone for about 15 minutes, and he tells me that he could not allow his players to be disrespected and definitely not called racial slurs. He says that's why they protested the game tonight. And there's no reason that this should happen. It is unacceptable. No one should have to accept it. I'm not going to. Ann Arbor Pioneer High School head football coach Jimmy Williams taking a bold stance Friday night against racism. Thursday night, our, our players, our JV football team, were subjected to being called for pretty much the first half of a game. Williams said his junior varsity coach reported the incident to him. Friday, he announced his team would not play the game against Bedford High School. So I made a decision that we would protest the game um, as a staff, as a, as a group of players. Uh, there's no way whatsoever that I will ever allow my players to be subjected to that kind of treatment. My job is to protect these young men to develop these young men and, and to make this a great experience and that didn't happen. William says he talked to his players. He wanted to hear what they thought. What they experienced, we can't change that. And how they felt. That's going to be a part of them for the rest of their lives. I cannot change that. I'm going to just be honest with you, man. I, I'm hurting that my kids were hurt like that. That, that hurts me to the core. And I did reach out to the superintendent of Bedford Schools and he released this statement. It says in part, it is disappointing to learn that tonight's contest was canceled to make a statement regarding the treatment of pioneer athletes by all teams and not specifically associated with yesterday's alleged incident. I am confident that if timely and appropriate communication had taken place, our teams could have participated in a game that would allow for a strong showing of sportsmanship. The one thing that is clear is that there is no place in high school athletics or any other setting for the type of behavior being alleged. We are live in Ann Arbor tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Larry, I'm curious if the Michigan High School Athletic Association's heard about this yet, and if so, what are they doing about it? And Jason, I did reach out to the association and the spokesperson tells me that they have had numerous conversations with both schools and they are looking into this situation. All righty, we'll see what happens from here. All right, Larry, thanks.